<laughs> Very handsome boy. I see you. I see you. Are you playing with me? Hi, everybody. Amy, 100 plus. Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Here with Tommy. On this beautiful Friday afternoon, the day after Thanksgiving. Tommy is still here and waiting for a place to call home. A forever home. A foster home. All he wants to do is be close to his person. Very, very affectionate, very sweet. Tommy loves his walks. He loves car rides. Tommy, what do you want to say? Hey, what do you want to say to everybody? Huh? <laughs> he reels you in with the paws when you stop petting him. He just wants to be so, so, so close. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Did everybody enjoy their day with their family and their friends? Hi, Lynn. Hi, Joni. Um, I'm noticing a lot of comments with Bravo. Uh, please understand Bravo was rescued from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. He, we, we intercepted him. He was being walked to the, the euthanasia room from the kill shelter of Miami. Um, when I had sent Tiffany and the girls to go pick up a couple of dogs there, um, they saw Bravo being walked and getting ready to be killed, euthanized. Uh, he's an old dog and he uh, had bouts of seizures when he came to our organization. We had taken him to our 24-hour animal hospital for a lot of testing, medication uh, to try to help him and give him more time which he received almost two months. That's where he again. Sorry, uh, where Bravo received nothing but love unconditionally. I'm gonna flip this on me for a minute, so you know I'm talking about another dog and not Tommy. Um, Bravo is an old, was an old dog, and guys, every every day that these senior dogs receive um, is a gift. You have to understand that. So. When Tiffany sent me the video and we had no room, I said, well, we'll make up room. We'll put a pen together. We'll put him in our lobby, which is exactly what we did for Bravo. He received so much love, attention, and affection from our amazing 100 plus team. Um, everybody here showed Tommy so much love. He was outside. You saw him in the yard. He was running. He was circling. He was playing with Senna. Um, he, he had a great two months here with us. We promised, all of us made a promise that if he continued to seizure, um, it's, it's even on the medication with the specialists, they said he probably had a tumor or a lesion of the brain. We would not allow him to suffer. That is not um, humane. Uh, so we decided last night, Colleen reached out. Uh, she was here, thankfully, late night um, and reached out to myself and Tiffany um, Tiffany got the call and, and came here and grabbed him so he would not have to be alone. And that's when Tiffany reached out to me that he was flapping and seizuring in her home. Um, so the most humane thing we could do for Bravo was to let him pass in loving arms, which is exactly what happened at the Coral Springs Animal Hospital after hours. He was privately cremated and his remains will be returned back to us and he will have had the best two months of his life that he would not have had if we did not intercept him at the kill shelter um, of Miami. So that is sadly what happened to Bravo. Um, we did everything in our power to give him every extra minute day that he, we could and he received almost two months of that with unconditional love. So for that, we are so, so very grateful. Um, but I am here at Rescue House One and I am doing a little updated video. And I want to say thank you to our amazing 100 plus team, each and every one of you that did show Bravo love. Um, thank you to every one of you. And thank you, Tiffany, for being with him last night. Um, and uh, 
we will save another senior. Um, we don't have any room here at our house. All the rooms are spoken for because we need fosters and adopters desperately, which is why I'm doing this video right now and started to do on Tommy. Uh, Tommy we also rescued from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter the same day that we rescued Bravo. They shared a freedom ride. Um, and Tommy was uh, a, a, is a dog that was being focused, um, is, featured in videos of him completely shut down, wouldn't walk, um, wouldn't eat, and hot worm positive. Is such a sweet soul. I can't tell you, I can't put into words how amazing Tommy is. Uh, he's definitely a Husky Shepherd mix. He loves every person that he meets. He loves to go on walks. He loves his car rides. He is not destructive. Um, he is completely potty trained. I wish I could say that about most dogs that come out of um, abuse, abusive situations, shelter situations, or abandoned on the streets. Tommy is looking at me with a smile on his face, almost as though he understands every word. I'm just zooming in so you can get a better look at his face. Um, but he's almost looking at every word that I am saying. We do not foster out of state. No, we do not, Joan. Um, we need our dogs close by because Tommy is under treatment, slow method of heart kill, um, heartworm. Once that treatment is complete, then he will need to be neutered and we need our dogs close by. Um, adoption, we will drive three, four, five, six, seven hours if it is the perfect home. We do not allow our, ado our dogs to be shipped or transported out of state. Please understand that we need to meet the family. We also need to do a meet and greet with any existing pets that are in the existing home that are interested in adopting a dog from us. Um, sadly, time too many times we see that people go to the shelters or they rescue a dog. Uh, they don't do the meet and greets. No home checks are done. Dogs get out. Uh, dogs are fighting in the home and then they're forced to bring them back to the kill shelter. And I'm sorry. Um, I guess the intentions are great, but that is not responsible. Rescue, it puts the dog in graves danger uh, when that is the case. So Tommy is absolute perfection. I am doing this video uh, to try to reach out to somebody that may be watching or a friend or a family member that maybe lost a dog around the holidays. Wouldn't it be great to see Tommy in a home? He didn't get to be in a home on Thanksgiving, but wouldn't it be fantastic to see Tommy in a home on the Christmas to be with a family? Like I said, he's easy peasy and he would love nothing more than to have loving arms, a lap. <clears throat> right, Tommy? I'm talking about you. Are you interested in my coffee? I know. You smell my coffee. Can you sit, Tommy? Can you sit, please? Tommy? That's a good boy. <laughs> ah, that's my foot. I guess I'm not giving Tommy enough attention because he wants me to rub him. The tail's going. Do you want some loving, Tommy? Hmm? Do you want to talk to me? I feel that Tommy is becoming... A bit depressed here in this room, even though it is a beautiful room and there's one bed, two beds, three beds, four beds that I'm sitting on, unlimited food and water. He has his own TV, TV and couch, but these dogs don't want to be alone. They want a person. They want touch. They want affection. They want love. Um, like I said, he absolutely loves to go for walks. You know, I had him, I took him in a le on a leash and I brought him into Senna's room Obviously, I kept him on leash, <clears throat> and there were probably about five or six of us in the room, and I sat in there with him on leash, and Senna was on the couch, um, and I sat down, and Tiffany was on the opposite side of me, and Senna was on her side, and then Tommy climbed up on the couch, and he sat there for about a good 20 to 30 minutes. He saw Senna. He leaned over, sniffed her. There was absolutely zero e aggression, zero, so... Um, and he was fine in the car with Bravo. When he came out of his room, he would see Bravo in his pen and nothing. So I feel, honestly, um, I feel with the proper introduction, he gets very excited on walks when he sees other animals, but that could be to play. So we definitely need to do um, an introduction to see if he's good with others. Um, I don't know how he is with cats. We don't have any cats here at the rescue house, but I would love to give him the opportunity to find a forever home or even a foster home. Um, I mean, obviously perfect scenario would be, you know, him being the king, um, 
Hey, but he's so easy. He's just so easy. What's this? Some food? No. You don't want it? You don't want some crunchies? See, Amy, I have it unlimited. I like treats. You like your treats? Tommy! Come here! Come here, Tommy! Leave my coffee. Come over here. Oh, now you want to eat? Come here. No, no, no. Leave my coffee. No. <laughs> Come up here. Come give me love. Come on. Give me. Give me that love. Leave it. I know. It's something new. You want the coffee. So who out there has room in their home for Tommy? Who can offer him a place in your home if you have a fenced yard? Oh, my God. He would love it just to lounge around. Um, again, completely potty trained, not destructive, doesn't chew anything, doesn't tear anything up. He's not a barker. He talks, but he's certainly not an annoying barker. Uh, he's just, oh, look at when I rub him, if I stop, he just wants me to keep rubbing. What do you want? What? Tommy, speak to me. What do you want? Tell me a story, Tommy. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me. I go get Tommy. I go get Tommy. Where's your toy? <gasps> Tommy, what's that? Go get it. Go get it. See, I don't want a toy. I just want you. I just want love. I want to play. You want to play, Tommy? Huh? You want to come cuddle? Huh? Anybody that's watching, please, please hit the share button. He's playful with his little toys. He's like a puppy at heart. He just never got to be one. He deserves so much love. Everybody that meets him, all of our volunteers are in love with him. Everybody says how perfect he is, how smart he is, how sweet he is. There has to be somebody out there that can offer Tommy a loving home. Please, guys, seeing him in this room alone, day in and day out, not only does it hurt our hearts, but it also it stops us from saving another in need. Together as a community with our rescue, if we work together to get these dogs into foster homes while our organization covers all costs, there's nothing out of pocket for you. Not a penny. We cover everything from food to bowls to toys to beds, medical, everything, leashes, collars. There's nothing that you need to spend a penny on. All you need to do is give this dog, or any dog for that matter, love and keep them safe. That's all that you are required to do. We do come out and do a home check, even if you are interested in fostering, as you would be adopting. He entertains himself. He is perfect. Uncle Johnny, who is a wonderful volunteer of ours, when he can, um, he has he's an accountant and he'll reach out and say Amy I want to take Tommy to work with me he comes in the morning and he picks Tommy up and Tommy jumps into his red hot Mustang and Tommy spends the entire day with Johnny at work meeting all kinds of new people not one person every person has the same thing to say about Tommy which is that he is absolutely perfect and sweet and loving so please share this video and help us find Tommy, if not his forever home. Let's start off with a foster home. You can see his teeth are beautiful. I think he's about four years of age, maybe five tops. He's had a rough life for sure. For sure he's had a rough life. He has the battle scars that show he's hot, warm, positive because he was probably in somebody's backyard, not put on prevention, not neutered. But we need to change all that. We started with pulling him out of the kill shelter. And now it is time to find Tommy a loving forever home or foster. What? Tell me. Tommy, speak. Tommy, talk to me. Tommy. Tommy, talk to me. What? <laughs> you just want to play? How about Mickey? You want Mickey? Go get Mickey. Go ahead. Get Mickey, Tommy. Good boy, Tommy. Good boy, Tommy. He's playful. He's puppy-like. So much, so much life left in him. Please help us by sharing this video and let's find Tommy a place.
This is Amy with my update on Tommy 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Stick around because I'm going to do another video here in about five, 10 minutes with another couple of our babies that are in need and still searching for their forever home here from house one at 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. You can reach us by contacting us by email at 100 plus PL US abandoned dogs at gmail.com which I will put that information in this video at the top when I shut down. Or you can call us at 877-506-8100 and just mention Tommy. You can come and meet him. You can come and see all the babies that we have available. Right, Tommy? Tell me. What do you want to say? What? Tell me, Tommy. I know. What? What is it? <laughs> Please share for Tommy. Thanks, everybody. I'll be back up and soon running with another featured another couple of our rescue that are in need.